Hello everyone and welcome to Long Stories. Today we'll be taking a look at the DX Cyclone Dial Fighter from Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. This is the first auxiliary uh, vehicle for the Lupin Rangers. Uh, the Pato Rangers got one at the same time they got the Trigger Machine Biker, which we'll take a look at in a future vehicle. But uh, yes, the Lupin Rangers get a new vehicle. Obviously it has to be a flying vehicle since it's a Dial Fighter. So we get this lime green uh, double bladed helicopter here. So pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, this is the front of the box. Take a look at the side. Just has a picture of the toy over here. A picture of the toy again, and it's com uh, compatibility with Lupin Kaiser and the VS Changer. Not too much going on at the bottom. Taking a look up here again, just kind of a cool pic of the kind of transformed version of the Cyclone Dial Fighter and its connection to Lupin Kaiser. And then over here, it just shows them combining again, and then it shows the the biker with Pot Kaiser. So, uh, yeah. And then, of course, VS Changer compatibility. So, pretty cool. Um, not much, like, you know, standard box. Tells you all the things you can do. What we're used to. But, yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll get them out of the box, and we'll take a closer look. So, here's the Cyclone Dial Fighter out of the packaging. Very, very bright lime green, almost like a neon green. Um, it's so bright that all the light's bouncing off, and it's coming up like day glow on camera. So, it's a little bit darker than it appears on camera here, but... Still very bright, but I do like how they have kind of the orange and the red to kind of like juxtapose bright colors with darker colors. I think it looks pretty sharp. You can spin these two blades of the helicopter. Obviously, here is the dial for the dial fighter in the back. I like this uh, rotor in the back here, too. I think that looks pretty cool molded in there. Then you have the rail system here. So if you go ahead and turn this. It splits apart, and then you just have to fold these back yourself. For some reason, this one doesn't like to spin as well. I think it hits right here. When you spin it, it kind of just catches the very bend of this. This one is far enough away that this one spins perfectly well. So can I push that? I can push it a little bit farther. There we go. So if you, you have to make sure like you'll push it, and they'll kind of click. You'll hear like a very tiny little click. So they don't slide back. There you go. Now it's spinning. So they actually spin pretty well once they're clicked and there's enough clearance. So, I mean, there's a huge open area right here, which looks weird, uh, in my opinion. But it's kind of neat, I guess. I like having the blades at the sides. I think that looks cool. And then you just push these down and then slide them back in. And they'll snap in place. And there you go. You're back. So let's go ahead and bring in the VS Changer so we can get to the sounds we get with that. Alright, so we we'll go ahead and slide this on the VS Changer here. I love this music. So there you go. So that's basically just kind of like a special attack sound with this um, equipped the first way. Since it's not a transformation dial fighter, you don't get any transformation sounds, you just get kind of a special attack sound. To actually call the dial fighter itself, So there you go. It says, sus, 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 hi, Clo. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There's not a ton to do with the VS Changer, but you do get kind of a cool attack sound and obviously the sound for calling the Mecha. So now that the Mecha is large, life-size, uh, let's go ahead and get it connected to Lupin Kaiser. Connecting the Cyclone Dial Fighter to Lupin Kaiser is very simple. You're going to go ahead and disconnect the yellow Dial Fighter. Just put that off to the side, take Cyclone, twist them open, 
push him to the end so he locks into place and then open them up and then the connection port is right here and then you just pop it on and there you go you have a giant neon green lime green arm for loop and kaiser um it's kind of goofy in arm mode in all honesty because it's so huge and weirdly shaped especially this arm here that goes up and around and it's just it is what it is i almost kind of wish they had taken this and made them like a bow so that it, you know they could have configured these because you already kind of have like this if they could have configured these a little differently so like these kind of went to the end or something like that and kind of just made it almost look like a bow so that it would like shoot arrows I think that would be kind of cool. I mean, it's not bad as it is, but it's just a little weird. Certainly not practical, especially when this actually looks like an arm. You have a shoulder pad, you have the arm, you have a little fist molded in. Looks very nice. And then this side, you just have <laughs> this giant Frankenstein arm or something going on here. I don't know what's going on with this thing. So, it's not bad, but it's it's not perfect, I don't think. At least that's my opinion. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments below if you disagree. But I think it looks a little weird. So at the end of the day, I like the Cyclone Dial Fighter. It's definitely not my favorite, but I think there are fun things about it. I love the color scheme. The crazy bright neon green is a lot of fun. It's definitely a little out of place with the overall color scheme of Lupin Kaiser, but I think that can be fun. It definitely... Uh, makes it seem like it's out of place, like it's something from outside being connected for some kind of added effect, which is kind of cool. So I like it, but I definitely don't think it's the best as far as the arm goes. Um, it's just a little weird in, in the arm <laughs> configuration. Like I said, I really think if they could have made it look like a bow or something like that, I just think that might have been a little bit cooler. Um, also, when you connect it back together for this mode, I kind of feel like these don't line up perfectly. And the springs are already starting to not stay together 100%. And they slide apart like this. But we'll see. We'll see how that holds up over time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there are things I like about it. There are things that, you know, I'm not so hot about. But I think overall, the sound effects you get with the VS Changer are fun. The color scheme's fun. The overall design of the helicopter, I think, is fun. Just the, the, the little transformation in the arm mode is not the best, in my opinion. Not terrible just a uh, little goofy but you guys let me know what you think in the comments below i'd like to hear from you so let me know in the comments below what you think please like and share the video please subscribe i hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the dx cyclone dial fighter from lupin ranger versus pato ranger and as always guys thanks so much for watching